and welcome guys to another simulator game this time we're playing agricultural simulator 2013 and yes you guessed it it is another farming game it is almost exactly the same as the farming simulator i've got to say it's almost as if it's the long lost brother of farming simulator 2013 and everyone knows it's adopted but no one really wants to admit that it's adopted and everyone just tries to stay away from the topic but it's almost exactly the same although it is rather different in many certain aspects as well I'm a massive sucker for dynamic environments, and this does have a dynamic environment, so it seems like it's decent, but it is riddled with the bugs, like all the previous Agra simulators. But let's go ahead and start a new game. We'll go ahead and create one in Tuscany, which from memory in the historical Agra simulator is pretty much exactly the same place. And look at this. We've got those damn pesky chickens following us again. Bast what, the hell is <laughs> what the hell is that guy doing? We're winning! Yeah, he just had a bit much too fermented grass to eat, I guess. Okay, but they've given us a crappy little tractor to start off with, but if we check over here, they've given us $500,000. So that's pretty decent as well. So what we do, the tutorials are pretty crappy as well. They don't really explain too much to us, but I've gone ahead and taken the liberty upon myself to go ahead and learn how to use this game and play it. So let's go choose a tractor. Um, why do we have nothing selected? Uh, should I choose general? There we go. Okay, so here are all the tractors, just the general tractors. Are there even such thing as transport tractors? No, there's not. Okay, so we start off with a Macy Ferguson 3625. Uh, the numbers do go up. Let's just change it to a better angle. There we go. Uh, the numbers do go up, like in the versions, but as you can see, the vehicles are almost exactly the same. It depends on how many versions you go up. Then you get like higher capacity for fuel and more horsepower. But all in all, they're pretty much roughly all exactly the same. Ooh. And I definitely like this. The Macy Ferguson 8690 Lola. In Lola pink. How can I say no? I will not refuse that. It's a mean looking tractor. And it's got double wheels. Oh wow. Okay, so I think double wheels just improve the traction. I'm going to go for double wheels. That's really new. Max speed of 50 kilometers, fuel capacity 590 liters, and it's going for a hot price of 182,000 euros, so how can I say no? Now they spawn the vehicles, thankfully I've played this a little bit. There we go, we've got a bit of graphical issues over here already. What are, you, what are these chickens up to? <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if there would be a patch, but I do remember that many of the aggro games do come as buggy as this. I can only... Goddamn chickens annoying us again. These chickens. Uh, let's have a look at this actual vehicle with the double wheels. Wow. You wouldn't want to get in the way of that. Look at that. Those lowly pink bright lights. Beautiful. Oh god. Alright, hopefully we're back. Because what's wrong with this game is that it uses. Uh, it doesn't play in real full screen, so if I go ahead and move my mouse to the left, it'll go over into my dual monitor, and that's not good. But anyway, it seems like it's working right now. We're driving quite well. It's almost as if we're floating, but as you can see, the dynamic environment is already changing due to the weight of the tractor. Pretty neat. But let's go ahead and buy some more toys for ourselves. We're going to have to start off by going ahead and... We don't want a tractor, we want extensions now. And that's exactly what we want, we want some plows. So let's, all the plows are pretty piss poor to be honest. I'm going to go for this one, no, should we go for this one or this one? This is 1.3 meters. Uh, let's go for this one. Six fire plow, and that's pretty big. That's $45,000, unfortunately we can't change it into Lola Pink to match our tractor. Let's go and buy that. It magically spawns there. Uh, what we can also do is create our own paddocks. So this is kind of decent, I've got to say. Look at those trees. The trees move with us. That's really weird. Okay, so let's create our first field. It's pretty simple. We we'll just click, and then we go create fields. And we have lots. So if we check, zoom all the way out over here. Um, do we? Oh, well, maybe this is just one massive lot. It should end soon. Well, pretty much there's different lots in this game. Or maybe it's just not in this map, but there's different lots in the different uh, levels that there are. 
Uh, and in the lots you have to buy different lots and you can create your own fields in the lots. So I'm going to go ahead and create my own field. Where we start it off. Just go ahead and start something rather small. We don't want to make it too hard on ourselves. And there we go. So those are just the markers. They just are there for just the looks. Pretty much. So what we're going to have to do is reverse our way here. Living a bit of dirt marks. Um, hopefully this is the... No, that's not the place we put them on. Where we go? On the other side. So there are rather good money cheats as well from what I understand with the console command. So I will be cheating with this Let's Play. I don't think it will last too long either. It is riddled with bugs and I don't like games that are buggy like this. This is ridiculous. But hopefully we don't see too many. Like those spinning chickens. But what we've got to do is click here. Click this, and then now they magically attach. Beautiful. That looks a bit ridiculous compared to our tractor to a plow. And that's a, one of the biggest plows you can get in the game. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh, no. No. I'm still here. Don't you worry. Okay. Unfortunately, it's just the dual monitors that is just really annoying. I wonder what that little symbol is, though. I'd love to know. It's been bugging me for quite a while. So what we've got to do is press tab, and then we can go ahead and lower the hydraulic system. So that lowers the plow, and then we'll rotate it to the left. There we go. And now we can go driving, put her on cruise control level one. And that, my friends, is how you plow. It's coming out quite decently. Well, I'm not exactly sure what the furthest plows are doing. So our sum is as if we're only doing one little furrow. It's quite poor. Poor effort there, mate. What is that red stuff? I'd love to know. But as you can see, this is going to take us quite a while just to go ahead and sow this one field. Or at least not even sow it, just to plow it. It's taking us quite a while. Let's go on a faster cruise control. There we go. That's a bit more like it. And as you can see, the actual tractors do uh, take into account the uh, furrows that we've made, which is really cool. Completely unlike farming simulator. So I do give credit to the creators of this for making at least an effort into doing something new and novel. I think this series has always been like that though. So. I think I went a bit overkill on the wheels though. But it's good to see something different. Yeah, so we should do this like, ooh, what was that? Oh, I used to turn the lights on, okay. What I want to press is U, which lifts up the plow. So I can do this like a real farmer. Reverse. Jeez, the wheels are almost touching each other. Gotta love that music as well in the background. I cannot sing to the tune. Alright, let's keep going. Keep plowing this. Until I get bored, which is going to be pretty soon. Actually, reverse plow. That should work. There we go. Pick up the spots that we left over. I doubt any seeds are actually going to grow through here. Through my shocking plowing job. What the hell? I heard my dog. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. So, there's a lot more to this game instead of just plowing. Look at that. Beautiful. It is kind of neat that you can change your ground like that. So we've got lots of animals, so let's go ahead and check what we've got. Seems like we've got two bottles of milk in our cellar. So let's go to our cellar, or at least our something, one of these buildings. Somewhere over here. Uh, and this is the doorway to it. So I think you press X to open. Or is it zero? No, zero is the shop, so. Or O is the shop. Right over here. There we go. It's X. Okay, so it seems like we've got our bales over here, our food. So I think our chickens, oh no, our chickens, but our pigs sleep here. Let's click on this. Oh god damn it. This is just gonna be me complaining about my dual monitors. God damn game. And I am playing on full screen mode. At least that's what the game thinks I'm doing. Okay, oh, let's get out of here then.
Yeah, so we can fill up our fertilizers over here. Let's go back to the shop. And let's go for... Hmm. Let's go straight for the sowing. So let's not go for the plow, let's go for the seed. That's what we want. Ooh, and look at that. What do we have here? A Kayenna. This is exactly... This is the 6001, I think it is. The one that we actually have in Farming Simulator 2013. Neat. That's really cool. It's exactly the same. That's kind of funny. For $70,000, let's go buy that. Okay. Now that we have that, what we're going to have to do is you go back over here to the barn. It should be over here. No, no, it's the cellar, sorry. That's definitely not this. This is not the cellar. I think the cellar's over here. Hey, doggy. How's it going, Rufus? Yeah, the game isn't the best, uh, most optimized game either. So here we have our seeds for wheat, and I think corn is on the other side. There we go. We got a bit of pesticides, as well as oh, more pesticides. But what we're looking for is not here. Oh yeah, it is. Sorry, we need the seeds. What the hell am I thinking? All right, so we're gonna click, and we're gonna walk. Over to our cedar. And we're going to drop it off. Oh no. That's so weird. But yeah, so I wouldn't really recommend buying this game. Especially just yet. But this is pretty much how all the games work. Not the best. But it's such a good concept. I really do like it. So what we do is bring the wheat up over here. It costs $20 I think. And we drop it. There we go. And then the cedar eats it up. So let's go to our tractor. I don't think there's any way you can tab to it. And I don't think there's any any map that you can press. I haven't seen anything that you can press. Wait, did we, like, break the glass? Let's get out of here. What is that? Is that just a shadow? I think it's just a shadow. Okay. Ugh. Hopefully this all is recording properly. It's going to be quite amusing. Okay. So, let's... Oh, we should get out, shouldn't we? Oh, how forgetful. I'm so used to playing Farming Simulator. So, let's click this. So it magically disattaches itself, and let's go back into the Lola. Good old Lola. And now attach the cedar. I wonder how it worked, because this one also cultivates in this game as well, so you don't need a, cult need a separate cultivator either. So that's kind of neat, that it recognizes that in both games, it's, I guess, realistic. I guess that's what the machine actually does in real life. Oh wait, I, want, I was waiting for the little button to press uh, Q on, so it could attach, but we've got to get out of here and we've got to do this manually. So, press the triangle, to your triangle, and hey presto, back to the vehicle. Okay, let's check, we have 50 seeds, okay, that's, that's going to be more than enough for those little holes that we've created in the ground, as we drive over our chicken just casually, as you do. Yeah, this game seems like it's always, almost just created for one CPU core. It is running quite piss poorly. So, what we have to do is unfold this. So we unfold it. Well, let's lower it first. I think it's already lowered. So, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Oh, ridge markers on both sides have gone out. So, okay. And start seeding. Yeah. And start driving. Does it look like it's seeded? Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, wow. It's like gone all dark as well. That's kind of neat. So it fills up the ground. It fills up all those holes. Oh, okay. Seeding wheat. 100 points. Okay, so we're seeding it also on the grass. <laughs> Not the smartest thing, but... Okay. Ah. Yeah, I, to be honest, I think this is going to be the last time I actually play this. Is that all the seeds? That is all the seeds. Okay. Look at that. All that wasted seed. Okay. So we've had enough fun with that. Let's get back out of here. Let's go to the shop once more. Let's go and check some other things. The sprayers. Okay. Zoom out all the way over here. Yeah, you can't really zoom out all the way in either. 
I should mention as well, I was watching the trailer for this, the, even the trailer was lagging. So that's when you know a game's not the best. Well, this seems like an interesting sprayer. Guess that's used for manure. So say, the spray is for spraying of fun fungicide and herbicide in a liquid fertilizer. Okay, and we've got almost like a cement truck-like machine. Let's get rid of that. It's a liner. Ah, okay, so they're just wind tethers. That's a tether. And I think that's a tether as well. Oh, what's a fork? Oh, wow. A gecko bale fork. So that's a truck company. Mow. Okay, so we can mow grass as well. See, this game has so much possibilities. It's just that it fails so abysmally in the most basic things. Let's go look at some fertilizers. What the hell is that fertilizer? Is that supposed to load up anything? Oh, no, that's... Oh, sorry, that's the Gecko Bale Fork. I must have that still clicked. Uh, let's go look at transport some... Okay, zoom out. That's kind of neat. It's a massive, uh... Front load... Oh, load. Oh, Bandit. That seems like one of the ones that we could have gotten at Farming Simulator 2013. Just some basic trailers. Hay trailer, that's neat. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go and check some historical things. Oh, I've got to show you this. Let's get rid of the exten extensions. And let's get rid of the fork. There we go. So I can have a look at the historical things. Uh, one of the funniest things to look at is the historical plows. Look at that. A single row plow is just enough to get you started with plowing. Do they seriously expect someone to go ahead and plow a field with that thing? In this game, of all games. Oh, painful just to think about it. Alright, let's get rid of the plow. Let's have a look at the historical things. That's neat. Oh, I'm going to buy that. Oh, it's only $5,000 as well. Yeah, so where is it? There it is. Lance. Okay, let's go and start this thing up. Ooh, number plate. M233. No, M233. Oh, beautiful. This, this game has so much potential. And we're stuck already. At least it can reverse. At least I had the technology. Look at the driver. It's rather expressionless. Oh, we, we, we are well and truly stuck. Okay, I think we've created a hole for ourselves, oh no. If I keep on making these weird sounds like, oh, it means I've uh, gotten kicked out. I guess we can do this properly. Reverse, and there we go, we can start driving. And then we get stuck again. What is this? Alright, let's get out. Let's have a look at some more vehicles. Let's have a look. Ooh, animal wagons. No. Ooh, that's interesting. Case combine. It's almost like one of those machines you've got a pedal on or something. Okay, so these are all small cultivators. Fertilizer. It's a link box. The steel box is great for storing or transporting your everyday farming goods. It's pretty small to be carrying around things. Okay, I've seen all this stuff. Get some Macy Ferguson's. Let's get rid of all this historical stuff. And let's go to some combines. This is where the real shit begins. And this is as far out as we can zoom in. If only we could zoom in further. Zoom out further. Goddamn bright lights. Let's go look at all these. I'm gonna buy one, of course. A gecko. I wanna buy like the most expensive one, so let's just keep going. 366,000 for a gecko L60. Definitely buying that. Do I have it? I guess I don't have the money for it. I think we're gonna have to be a bit more frugal. Let's go. 418,000. Yeah, I don't think it's counting that we're buying it. It's not realizing. I want to get out of here. Let me get out of here. Maybe I gotta press escape. Well, I don't think I'm gonna to torture myself anymore with this. So, there you have it guys, 
Agricultural Simulator 2013, a game with a heck of a lot of potential, but overall, rather disappointing. Especially if you have dual monitors. But until next time guys, I'll see you later.